Have you ever wondered about the fascinating saga of Tamkok Dien Gia? This monumental piece of literature, more commonly known in the English-speaking world as the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, is not just a novel. It's a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of intricate politics, captivating warfare strategies and profound human relationships, all set against the backdrop of a tumultuous period in China's rich history. The era it depicts, the Three Kingdoms period, is one of the most romanticized in Chinese history. A time when heroes and villains emerge to shape the destiny of a nation. This historical novel is a window into that past, offering a grand panorama of a society in flux. It's a saga that has fascinated readers for centuries and continues to do so even today. Join us as we delve into the stirring chronicles of Tam Kwok Dien Gia. Every great saga has an origin, and Tam Kwok Dien Gia is no exception. This epic tale didn't just spring from thin air, but was carefully crafted by Luo Guanzhong, a novelist from the Ming Dynasty. Luo was an adept storyteller, but he was also a keen observer of history, and he used this knowledge to breathe life into the characters and events of Tam Kwok Dien Kia. In crafting this masterpiece, Luo drew heavily from historical records, most notably the records of the Three Kingdoms penned by Chen Shu. This text provided a factual backbone to Luo's tale, grounding it in the realities of the time. However, Luo was not content to simply reiterate history. Instead, he embellished and expanded upon it, adding a layer of drama and intrigue that has captivated readers for centuries. The historical backdrop against which Tam Kwok Dien Gia is set is the period of disunity and civil war following the fall of the Han Dynasty in the late 2nd and early 3rd centuries AD. This turbulent era known as the Three Kingdoms period was characterized by shifting allegiances, cunning stratagems and epic battles, providing a fertile ground for Luo's narrative. Luo's ability to weave together historical fact and dramatic fiction is part of what makes Tam Kwok Dien Ng Hia so compelling. The novel's characters, while based on real historical figures, are fleshed out with personal motivations, moral dilemmas and complex relationships, making them feel relatable despite the grandeur of their setting. In addition to historical records, Luo also drew inspiration from popular folklore and oral traditions, incorporating these elements into his narrative to further enrich the world of Tam Kwok Dien Ngia. These sources provided Luo with a wealth of material, from legendary feats of heroism to poignant tales of sacrifice, which he skillfully integrated into his epic saga. And thus, Tam Kwok Dien Ngia was born, setting the stage for a tale of power, loyalty and intrigue. This fusion of history and fiction of fact and folklore is what gives Tam Kwok Dien Ngia its enduring appeal, making it not just a historical novel, but a timeless tale that continues to captivate readers to this day. At the heart of Tam Kwok Dien Ngia lies the tale of three rivaling kingdoms. In the twilight of the Han Dynasty, the empire was splintered into three separate yet equally powerful kingdoms, Wei, Shu and Wu, each with its own distinct leader and narrative. The Wei Kingdom, led by the astute and cunning Cao Tao, was a bastion of military strength and political savvy. Cao Tao, a brilliant strategist, understood the importance of both force and diplomacy in maintaining control, making the Wei Kingdom a formidable force in the tripartite struggle. Next, we journey to the Shu Kingdom, a land of honor and righteousness under the leadership of Liu Bei. Liu Bei, known for his benevolence and adherence to the Confucian values of virtue and duty, sought to restore the Han Dynasty and bring peace to the realm. His close-knit relationship with his sworn brothers Guan Yu and Zhang Fei only served to bolster the strength and unity of the Shu Kingdom. Finally, we turn to the Wu Kingdom, led by the ambitious and charismatic Sun Quan. Sun Quan, with his indomitable spirit and determination, held the Eastern Territories and the Yangtze River, using the natural defensive barrier to his advantage. The Wu Kingdom, with its naval prowess, played a crucial role in the Battle of Red Cliffs, one of the most significant military confrontings of this era. These three kingdoms, each unique in its leadership and approach, were embroiled in a complex web of alliances and rivalries. This period in Chinese history, fraught with political intrigue and military conflict, saw the rise and fall of heroes, the forging of legends and the shaping of a nation. The balance of power constantly shifted, alliances were made and broken, and dynasties rose and fell. In the midst of chaos, these three kingdoms fought for dominance, shaping the course of Chinese history. 
The echoes of their battles, their struggles for power, and the indomitable spirit of their leaders continue to reverberate through the annals of time, reminding us of the ever-present cycle of conflict and resolution in the human story. Intricate plots and compelling characters are the lifeblood of Tam Kwok Dien Ngia. This historical saga is populated with a rich cast of characters, each contributing to the vibrant tapestry of the story. Let's delve into some of the key characters and events that shape this narrative. First, there's Liu Bei, a virtuous leader with a heart for the people. He was born into a humble family, yet rose to become the emperor of Shu Han. Liu Bei's story is one of resilience and determination, as he overcame numerous adversities to achieve his dream of restoring the Han dynasty. Next, there's the cunning and ambitious Cao Cao, the chancellor of the Eastern Han dynasty, who later became the king of Wei. Known for his strategic brilliance and political acumen, Cao Cao's influence extended far beyond his military conquests. His Machiavellian tactics and ruthless ambition are central to the drama and intrigue of Tam Kwok Dien Ningia. Then we have Sun Quan, the young ruler of Eastern Wu who inherited his brother's kingdom at a young age. Despite his youth, Sun Quan proved to be a capable and decisive leader. His tenacity and strategic alliances were instrumental in securing his kingdom's independence. Now let's look at some pivotal events that shaped the narrative. One such event is the Battle of Red Cliffs. This epic battle marked a turning point in the story as it led to the formation of the Three Kingdoms. The allied forces of Liu Bei and Sun Quan successfully thwarted Cao Cao's attempt to unify China under his rule. This victory underscored the importance of alliances and strategy over sheer numbers. The Battle of Red Cliffs is just one of many battles that punctuate the narrative, each adding a new layer of complexity and intrigue. These battles are not only about military strategy and political maneuvering, but they also reflect the personal ambitions, alliances and rivalries between the key characters. Beyond battles, the narrative is also marked by pivotal moments of decision, such as Liu Bei's decision to ally with Sun Quan or Cao Cao's decision to seize power. These decisions have far-reaching consequences, altering the course of the story and the fate of the characters. Each character, each event is a piece of the puzzle, contributing to the intricate and compelling narrative of Tam Kwok Dien Ngia. The characters are not mere historical figures, but fully fleshed out individuals with their own dreams, ambitions and flaws. The events are not just historical facts, but dramatic turning points that shape the narrative and drive the story forward. Every character, every event adds a new layer to the complex tapestry of Tam Kwok Dien Ngia. This is the beauty and brilliance of Tam Kwok Dien Ngia, a story that is as much about human nature and personal ambition as it is about history and politics. Tam Kwok Dien Ningia is not just a novel, it's a legacy that transcends time. These words ring true as we delve into the immense influence this historical masterpiece has exerted on Chinese literature and culture, and indeed the world. Tam Kwok Dien Ningia, or Romance of the Three Kingdoms, has been a cornerstone of Chinese literature. Its intricate plot lines and multifaceted characters have provided a rich tapestry for subsequent authors to draw from shaping narratives and themes in countless works of fiction. The novel's emphasis on strategy, loyalty, and the human condition has resonated with readers, offering timeless lessons that remain relevant today. But the legacy of Tam Kwok Dien Ngia extends beyond the realm of literature. It has permeated Chinese culture in profound ways. The novel's characters, like the cunning Zhuge Liang or the valiant Guan Yu, have become cultural icons, embodying virtues such as wisdom, bravery, and loyalty. These characters and their stories have been woven into the fabric of Chinese society, influencing everything from philosophy and ethics to popular sayings and idioms. Tam Kwok Dien Ngia's reach isn't confined to China, though. It has captivated audiences worldwide, largely through its numerous adaptations across various media, from films, television series, and operas, to video games, comic books, and even theme parks, the novel's epic tale of power, ambition, and human nature continues to enthrall. These adaptations have not only brought the Three Kingdoms era to life for millions, but have also introduced the rich history and culture of China to a global audience. As we close the book on Tam Kwok Dien Ngia, we realize that its tales of heroism, strategy, and human nature continue to resonate with us centuries later. Its legacy endures, 
a testament to the timeless appeal of its narrative and the enduring fascination with the Three Kingdoms period. As we journey through the pages of history, we find that Tam Kwok Dien Ningia is not just a novel, it's a mirror reflecting the complexities of human nature and the eternal struggle for power.